Hi, this is Andrew Simons. I'm an English Fordan player. In this video, I'm going to introduce and explain a series of opening principles, which I call the opening gospel according to Leela Zero, which I have uh, sort of picked up from reviewing many games with Leela Zero and then extracted a set of principles um, to help you play a good opening according to what Leela Zero thinks are good moves, which are good moves, better than any humans ever played, um, and it's not actually too difficult to play an opening as, as good as Leela Zero for the, for the very early opening. Once it kind of gets going it's more difficult, but this will guide you really maybe through the first 10 or 20 moves um, to find the big moves. So I posted about it online, I'll put the link in the video description, um, here they are. Uh, so basically, it's just a, it's just an ordering of moves of biggest moves to smallest moves, and you just pick the biggest one available. Um, so it tries to make it quite a simple procedure to decide what are the big places to play next. Um, so the most important one, I've put this as priority minus three, is if you've got if you're black and white have played the press against your three four, you should answer it. That's kind of the most important standard move in this set of uh, list of standard opening moves. Next one is if your 4-4 four, four is 3-3 three, three invaded, then answer it, and keep playing in this corner until some Jazeki has finished, which might be Sente, might be Gose, depending on what happens. Um, so that's another urgent situation. Another one is if your 4-4 four, four is double approached, then you attach out. It doesn't say which attach, Generally, it doesn't actually matter too much. Um, for example, you don't play the Kasumi at 5-5, which is kind of an old answer to the double approach. That's just bad shape. Don't do that. Uh, those are sort of urgent local situations when there's some fighting situation happening. Now we start with just the regular things on an empty board up to sort of generally filling up. Most important is one, play in an empty corner. 4-4 four, four point or 3-4 point. Priority number two is approach, usually a low approach rather than a high, a 3-4, or enclose from a 3-4. So either with the big low enclosure or the big high enclosure. The smaller enclosures are also, uh, you know, they're not terrible moves by any stretch of the imagination, but they're not so commonly seen as good moves by AI. Um, number three, press if they ignored your approach to a 3-4. Um, this one's actually a little bit tricky with the ordering. This is where I've put it in the ordering, but because this threatens something which is the highest priority, basically this press is always sente, so you can actually sometimes play this at a higher priority than number three in this list. Um, then I've put a three and a half because this is basically a bit like the uh, press, it's basically defending against the press. So from white's point of view, if black's approach and it's white's move, play either the Kasumi or the Knight move to defend against the press. Um, next priority is 3-3 three, three invade a 4-4 four, four point or approach a 4-4 four, four point with a Knight's move. Standard move, I mean this is very, this is standard opening from before AI, having the early invasion is one of the big innovations that uh, AI has given us in Go. Um, number five, double approach a 4-4. Four, four. Um, so basically black has approached, white has something else, then double approach. This is a move which we used to think was quite high priority, but AI has taught us that actually it's quite far down here at number 5. 5.5 uh, is basically similar, is prevent this thing happening, in other words when they approach, answer. Um, so again this used to be seen as a much higher priority move than uh, AI has taught us and that I've extracted out of these principles. And number six, enclose from a 4-4. Four, four. Um, that's uh, actually fairly traditional to be low, fairly low priority, um, though it's higher priority now than it was, say, 30 years ago or so. And that's it. And just one other comment here I've put. Basically, there's no side moves. This is all basically corners. Corners are very important. Not just the first move, but even the second move in a corner is more important, generally, than a move on the sides. Um, so now we can go through a sort of a worked example of putting these principles into practice in some common openings. So black plays in an empty corner, priority one. 
fine. White plays an empty corner, priority one, fine. Black plays empty corner, does a 3-4 this time, white plays empty corner. Okay, so they've all just, so far, we've just been tipping, tipping, ticking off priority one, playing an empty corner. Um, just one thing we could say is if white gets a bit cheeky and, you know, this is a bit of a sort of in-your-face move, says, I'm going to approach you, I'm scary, blah, then you don't need to answer, you, you don't even need to sort of think too much, I mean, you could answer, but you just say, well, empty corner is more important than anything else on that uh, list that I could do here, so I'm just going to play empty corner. And leader zero says this is better than, for example, playing here. I didn't even need to check this position, just basically these principles I've extracted and checked in lots of different positions, and generally they will hold true. So, if white takes the empty corner, then a very common opening um, in professional play a while ago, maybe not so much even before AI, but still very popular with amateur players, is the Kobayashi opening, which goes like approach here and then here. And the idea of this opening is you're sort of simultaneously this stone is helping here, plus it's helping this corner make it a bit difficult for white to approach if white does some of the uh, non approaches. The, the theory, at least, was that you can attack it and get a nice position. But let's actually look at these things here. So at this position, if we look at the, uh, the opening gospel according to leader zero, after one, approach or enclose from a 3-4 is higher than approach or invade a 4-4. So according to this, this black approach is a mistake because this is a bigger, more important move. So um, that's really what would have been better for black. Now, of course, it's not a terrible move, but it's a little bit of a mistake. And now for white, again, instead of answering that, if we look on the list, that's down here, 5.5 better than a 5.5, .5, is a 2. So let's approach Black's corner. So this is a better move. Um, it's quite common if you do this. So in this example, I'm going to have White following the principles and Black's being a typical sort of human player. It's quite common if Black's approached and White ignores for Black to have fighting spirit and say, hey, I approached your corner. I'm saying that's Sente. I'm going to be scary and double approach you. Now, in this position, um, white could answer in this corner, and this is the thing I mentioned before about the press. The press is actually very, it's basically sente, so you can play it almost any time you want. Um, there's a little bit of subtlety about places it's a bit better and a bit worse. Um, but in this example, rather than attaching out, I'm going to have white playing this press. Um, now, if black says, hey, I double approached your 4-4, you didn't answer me, so I'm going to play here. Then white says, well, you didn't answer me, I'm going to play here. And they end up with a trade. But this trade is better for white because black's, co black's cornerstone is it's not dead, but it's deader than white's cornerstone. Um, so I mean, this, this stone, it's possible that maybe you can make a life later, um, but it's quite a small life if and when you do, um, maybe some kind of, you can make some kind of code type thing like this, or something here, but it's white gets nice and strong on the outside, and it's quite a small life, whereas um, if I just pass somewhere, later on in this corner, not not uh, particularly soon, but you know maybe a bit later in the opening, white can play something like this, and basically like here, you're making a life with, you know, 10 points of territory or something, and it's a lot of a lot roomier corner than a very small cramped one you can get there. So basically, these opening principles, if I go back here, say black, should, most important is to answer the press. So black should answer, and that is, that is, that uh, idea that this trade is good for white is baked into those principles that answering the press is more important. So you don't need to spend a long time going, oh, what's this trade? Is it good for me? Is it good for them? This trade is good for white. So, black answers. Now, these principles are basically valid in a when the position is, well, at least the one to five, one to six, rather, and when it's a fairly quiet position, there's nothing urgent. Minus one, minus two, minus three are when there's an urgent situation, and there's other urgent situations which can also take precedence. So for that, you do need to think a bit to decide. So here, this is an, an urgent local situation, so white plays a normal move extending, and black 
playing the one space jump is the most common thing. And in so white has pressed black down in sente, and now it's white's move. And we return to the list and we say, well, there's no pressing going on, there's no 3 3 invasion, there's a double approach, so attach out and this attach or this attach um, is good for white to play now. Um, so that's how white can play, and white's uh, done quite nicely just to press black down. So, for example, another thing we can say is this is an urgent situation, but for example, this side. White doesn't need to extend along the side from the wall because these principles are all about the precedence of the moves in the corners being higher than moves on the sides. Um, just another thing black can try in this sort of position is black really wants to play this 5-5 five, five surround. Um, so he can try pushing again. This is an urgent local situation. White extends and then black plays here to surround the white corner. But then white gets to turn here and black can defend either here or here is a bit better. Um, and up to here, basically that's at least on the lower side, we've kind of finished these corners as far as these opening principles will take us. Um, white can block here, or play can continue on the upper side where we've got some empty, well, not empty corners, corners with one move, and therefore we could have some more application of those principles. So that's a quick example of using those opening principles to decide where to play in the opening. Okay.